Hello guys, so for this video I want to do this problem and uh, some other problems uh, as integration by parts. So if we have the integral 5x times e to the power of 8x and we want to do integration by parts, then we need to choose our u and our dv. Then for the integration by parts, what do we need to do? We need to find our du, and for that you just need to take the derivative of your function, which is 5x in this case, and multiply the function by dx. So I'm going to get just 5 times dx. And for dv part, we just need to integrate our function, and if you're going to integrate exponent to the power uh, of a times x, I'm going to get just 1 over 8 times e to the power of 8x. And the reason uh, why is because if I'm going to differentiate my v, I want to get uh, e to the power of 8x back. And you can see that applying the chain rule, uh, 8 and 1 over 8 uh, is going to cancel out. So uh, that's why I'm going to have that v is equal to 1 over 8 times e to the power of 8 times x. And then by integration by parts, what I need to do, I need to take my u and v and multiply them out. So I'm going to have 5x times 1 over 8 uh, times e to the power uh, a times x and then I need to subtract the integral of v du. So you can see I'm going to have 1 over 8 times e to the power of a times x times 5 times dx. So our next step, what do we need to do? We need to simplify the first expression. So I'm going to get 5 over 8 times x times e to the power of 8x. And then I need to find the second integral. And then what I'm going to do, I'm going to factor my constant. So I'm going to have negative 5 over 8 in front of my integral. And then since I know uh, what is my integral of the exponent, I'm going to get just uh, my final answer is going to be 5 over 8 times x times e to the power of 8x minus 5 over 64 times uh, my exponent and plus constant c. Yeah, so in one small comment, like the reason why I chose u is equal to 5x and dv is equal to the e to the power of 8x, because if I will choose u to be equal to the exponent, then my dv is going to be 5x, or in other words, my v is going to be 5x squared over 2. And if we're going to plug in everything into our formula integration by parts, you will see that my original integral will be simpler. And after that uh, substitution, I will obtain more complicated integral. So that's why every time when you see integrals that form, just remember, always choose u to be equal to 5x. So for our next problem, I want to find the integral of 8x times ln of 2x. And again, I need to find what is my u and my v. You can see that in this particular case, I want to choose uh, either my u is equal to 8x and ln uh, of 2x equal to dv or otherwise. But if I'm going to choose dv equal to ln of 2x, then finding my integral is going to be pretty complicated. That's why I don't want to make that option because to find the integral of ln of 2x is too early for us, I'm going to do that soon. But usually uh, the right approach is choose u to be equal to ln and dv equal to 8x. And since u is equal to ln of 2x, then applying the chain rule and remembering that derivative of ln is 1 over 2x, and by applying the chain rule I need to take the derivative of 2x inside, so I'm going to obtain that ln prime is equal to 1 over 2x times 2x prime, or in other words just 1 over 2x times 2, so 2 and 2 will get cancelled, so that's why I'm going to have du is equal to 1 over x dx. And finding v, I just need to integrate 8x, and if I'm going to integrate 8x and use the power rule, I will get that 8 x squared over 2 is equal to 4x squared. And again, like you applying the integration by parts, I will have u times v minus the integral of v times du, and where my integral is going to be equal to 4x uh, squared times 1 over x dx. And uh, you can see what I'm going to obtain. I'm going to obtain uh, just 4x squared times 1 of 2x minus 2x squared plus c. And that is going to be the final answer for this problem. Uh, yeah, let me know if you have any questions about any other step, but I feel like like you, uh, you should find that computation pretty straightforward. So for our next problem, I want to find the definite integral. So definite means I have bounds. And in this case, I have bounds from 0 to 1. And first, I need to do the transformation that 1 over e to the power of x is equal to just e to the power of negative x. So you can see that 
to apply integration over parts, since that integral looks as the integral 8.1.1, I'm going to set that my u is equal to 6x uh, plus 5 and dv is equal e to the power of negative x. And then I'm going to find that my du is going to be 6 times dx, as the derivative of u is equal to 6. And the v is going to be equal to negative uh, e to the power of negative x by chain rule. And again, like applying the integration by parts formula, I'm going to get the following expression. And you can see that minus sign uh, in front of my integral is going to cancel out. But don't forget that since we have the bounds, that we need to evaluate u, v uh, at our uh, boundary points, 1 and 0. So what does it mean? It means I need to uh, plug in 1 inside my function and subtract uh, the same thing when I'm going to plug in 0. So uh, And plus, uh, we're going to have our integral, which we need to find, but since we have a constant, I'm going to just factor my constant, and then I'm going to have that simple integral. And if I'm going to do some simple like arithmetic, then I will get for the first term negative 11 uh, times e to the power of negative 1, and my second term is going to be just uh, 5 times 1. Uh, I have plus because minus and minus uh, will uh, give me plus. And remember, just e to the power of 0 is equal to 1. And then after I'm going to find my second integral, you can see that my final answer, after doing like some, again, like simple computations, is going to be negative 11, uh, sorry, negative negative 17 over e uh, plus 11. So for this problem, this problem is a little bit tricky because I have just a ln of 3x and remember like before I told you that we're going to come back to this problem. So the trick is you need to represent your function as 1 times ln of 3x and then I need to make a choice of my u and dv and I'm going to say that my u is going to be equal to a ln function and my dv is going to be equal to 1. Uh, the, reason, the reason why is because then I can find that my du, again like we already uh, did that uh, in my previous problem, is going to be just 1 over x times dx. And for dv, if I'm going to find my integral, I will just obtain that v is equal to x. And that's why you can see that uh, from one side we're going to make our integral more complicated, but from other side we're going to make it simpler. Because first u times v is going to be just x times ln of 3x from 1 to 9, but x and 1 over x for v and du part are going to cancel out. So I'm actually going to have the integral from 1 to 9 of 1 dx, which is pretty simple. Then when I'm going to plug in my boundary points, I'm going to obtain that uh, 9 times ln of 27 minus ln of 3. And for my integral from uh, 1 to 9 of dx, that integral you can compute is going to be equal just 8. So in other words, you can see that my final answer is going to be 9 times ln of 27 minus ln of 3 minus 8. But also we can do some simple simplification. Uh, the one thing that you need to observe that if you're going to take uh, 9 times ln of 27, then uh, 27 you can write as 3 cube. So what you're going to have, you're going to have 9 times ln of 3 cube minus ln of 3 minus 8. But then by uh, ln properties you can uh, move uh, power 3 to the front, so you're going to have 27 times ln of 3 minus ln of 3. So in other words, uh, the final answer, another form of the final answer is going to be 26 times ln of 3 minus 8. And let's do our final problem, where I need to find the integral of x squared times e to the power of 8x. And the trick is, for this integral, that we need to apply integration by parts twice. So let's apply the first time, I'm going to set u is equal to x squared and dv is equal to e to the power of 8x. And then I'm going to have u times v minus integral of v uh, du. And then you can see I'm going to obtain the following expression. And if I'm going to uh, do like some algebra and simplify my expression, then what I'm going to obtain, the integral of negative 1 over 4, sorry, um, uh, minus 1 over 4 times the integral of x uh, times to the uh, times e to the power of a times x. And then I need to apply the integration by parts again. So I'm going to set u is equal to x and dv is equal to e to the power of a times x. And if we're going to do the same procedure as we did for the problem 8.1.1, uh, we're going to obtain the following expression. But don't forget that we're going to do integration by parts inside the parentheses, and we're going to have negative one uh, fourth in front of my parentheses. So if I'm going to multiply uh, negative one fourth out, I'm going to obtain one eight x squared times my exponent minus one over thirty two times x times uh, my exponent, and then I'm going to have one over 32 times 1 over 8 
so in other words, it's going to be 1 over 256 times my exponent. And don't forget that we're going to have plus c. Okay, so I'm done uh, solving problems for this video. In my next video, I'm also planning to solve a couple of more problems uh, in this section.